good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're watching this, and welcome to my TechIt or Technic uh, biofuel generator. So I was having a look around and having a look at deciding what I wanted to do in the world of TechIt, and obviously I'm still new to this, I'm still learning. Basically I wanted to find a way of creating fuel without blowing stuff up with nuclear reactors, because apparently I suck at nuclear reactors. So this is my biofuel generator. Now at the moment we have, I think this one's about to get refueled, fuel being delivered to the generators so that there's never, in this case the empty fuel tank is going to be taken away, so we can wait a second. So it'll take away the empty fuel tank and it'll replace it with a full fuel tank and it'll keep cycling through this infinitely as long as the rest of the system works perfectly. So let's just see what time we've got left on the ticker. So we have a series of automated um, red power retrievers one to retrieve the full fuel tanks and one to retrieve the empty fuel tanks and return them back through the system so as you can see it takes away the empty fuel tank and immediately delivers a new full fuel tank so the generators run non-stop now at the moment I'm only running two generators I can, well, if I wanted to, run four and um, the reason I'm running two is because I want to back up or stock up on some filled fuel tanks so if I run three it will run just a little bit faster than I can produce the fuel if I run four it runs much faster than I can produce the fuel at two it runs just about perfectly in time with the producing of the fuel so let's just jump back over the top so the reason I decided to build the biofuel generator is because I was experimenting with geothermal energy and um, unfortunately the lava down below is rapidly running out so my sorting machine from my quarry is being powered by this system but it's going to run out very shortly so I wanted to see what I could do to get more power based around the stuff that I had found so the sorting machine is very basic we don't need to go through that the key thing is it takes the ores and separates those out the only ore that I'm interested in is tin so tin gets passed across the top to my fully automated biofuel generator system everything else gets put into the correct chests for it or in this case the waste stuff gets sent through underground because there is one aspect of my biofuel generator which I have not got access to as I'd like so I'm using an energy condenser to produce it so starting at the very beginning with my biofuel generator what I need is wheat in this case so I have basically a series of block breakers and the sort of deployers deploying seeds and bone meal to grow wheat and then I have a block breaker taking it away and this chicken is proving exactly why I have these fences here because apparently random mobs like to come along and step on that dust or dirt and obviously that ruins the whole system so the Seeds are being delivered from a chest which is full of seeds and then the, the in this case the bone meal I'm having to deliver using an energy condenser because I haven't got it set up to let's say a mob spawner obviously if I found a skeleton spawner or something like that I could use that to farm um, bones which I could then use to produce bone meal but in this case I'm just throwing in waste cobblestone and other things in order to keep the bone meal ticking through and I have two timers so the timer that triggers the deployers is linked in those or the same case it's the same time as the delivery system for the seeds and the bone meal so basically the every time it plants one it should receive one seed and one bone meal and so these two should never run out as long as this system continues in place so they come around to the front because oops a daisy they are being delivered at the same time um, they go into this chest and you'll see that this is the important fact that we have to have the, the, the basically the wheat coming in second and the seeds coming in first the reason for this is because in order to keep the flow of seeds ooh, we've had some tin escape so what's going on up here so why didn't that do what it was supposed to do tin 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 weird um, Ah, oh, wait a minute, something's gone wrong here. Yeah, my bad. Something has gone wrong. There we go. So, still a work in progress. This is generation one, but now that should 
have produced the um, containers that we need for the biofuel. So this is how the whole system works. We have wheat and seeds getting sent in here through a diamond pipe to a chest that also an automatic workbench which creates the biomass material and then we also have a seed equivalent. Now the reason I've done this is because when I first started it I was sending all the seeds back to that chest and because every time you get a fully grown wheat you get two seeds I didn't need to send two seeds back so I have two options. I can send one set of the seeds into the energy exchange but they are basically worthless so there was no real point in doing that. The other thing I decided to do was put them into another automatic workbench and give me more basically more um, capacity to produce. Up top we have the container creator which is then putting the containers into this infinite loop so this particular chest is full but I don't ever want to this stage to stop so when the generator is running it needs constant supply so that under no circumstances will it stop so we have an uh, obsidian pipe collecting all the overflow and sending it back around into the chest so this will basically loop through infinitely and as our quarry finds more tin it will supply it with more um, supplies. Now we do need to keep an eye on this and this because these are the two stages where it can go wrong. Because we always get more wheat um, stocking up than we do seeds because of the order we put it into, I can every now and again return to my system, throw some extra wheat into here and obviously speed up and put a few extra through. But I don't need to do that too often. The timings that I've got here cannot be sped up any faster. The reason they cannot be sped up any faster is because we need the seeds to come into here, be withdrawn first, then send a wheat before the new seeds arrive and basically this process needs to repeat. If we were doing it faster then the seeds just stockpile up, stockpile up, stockpile up, stockpile up and unfortunately we never get away from or get any wheat delivered. So that's a, that's an important speed um, aspect that had to be worked out. We then have um, a generator, uh, sorry a compressor which is connected to our um, generator. So the generator is powering itself. So the, the biofuel generator is powering the biofuel creation process and I have two overclockers on here so that it's quite and quick and that sends the different components needed to create our bio cell. Bio cell then logically passed on to the extractor and this saves you backed up quite nicely so there's always um, one arriving just as one finishes if not just quicker so that in, there's never going to be a situation where we run out of bio cells so it keeps ticking them over at a nice consistent level they go out the back and because of the, this, with the slight glitch with the canning machine and the need for it to come out the left I've had to put it around the back and into the top but we get our empty fuel cans into the bottom from the back of the generator we get our biofuel cells into the top canning machine throws it together producing the fuel can or the full or filled fuel can and then passes it on to this chest and this is where we have a nice big long list of filled fuel cans and then this particular chest is currently stocking up as I said at the very beginning because I've only got two running and then that's when the retriever retrieves it and sends it into the generator. So I've got the generator connected here now I've currently got it connected in with a little bonus system so if I get any redstone from my quarry it throws it into the generator just to make sure I've got enough power but as you can see the power ratio or the power needed to run the biofuel generator is less than that it creates so our power level is always going up so basically we have a constant and permanent and renewable source of energy so if I wanted to what I could do is go over to my quarry which is connected to my biofuel generator and I could activate the quarry and my quarry would mine resources put it back into the sorting system and then we are off and away and let's see what it's doing now so even with a quarry running, you basically have a sort of steady level of energy generation. So it's staying roughly even. It is dropping down a little bit at the moment. Obviously, if I wanted to even it out, what I would go and do is remove one of the overclockers from either the compressor or the extractor, and that would even out the, the power. So that is my biofuel generator in full. Off it goes. Nice and fun. Um, this is generation one, so I am going to be looking to try and find a way of making improvements or also looking at finding a way of adding in 
the use of reeds and maybe even saplings in an automated process to try and produce more obviously consistent biofuel so if I could get another whole set of canning machines and a whole set of um, the extractors so that I could have two hello, different um, generators of the filled fuel cans then I could obviously permanently run three or four generators which would then obviously outweigh the energy required to do the creation. The only bonus thing which I haven't pointed out is that because I'm using the red power um, retrievers and deployers I have to have some um, I think it's blue electricity is what it's called but it's just enough it's just two solar powers and a battery box and that keeps me supplied with all the power I need I probably could do away with one of the solar powers realistically so it's very simple very cheap and very efficient the only downside is if you're using or playing on a server that doesn't allow the uh, energy exchange then unfortunately you're going to have to find a skeleton spawner and base your biofuel generator around that so that you can have enough bones available to you to produce the fuel. Alright, I really appreciate any comments or criticism or options or uh, improvements that people can see that need to be made and uh, I'll uh, I'll keep you up to date with other things that I try and build an event. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a rate. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Much appreciated. Bye for now.